Every space in this house feels welcoming and comfortable. It felt really remarkable to be here and I could feel the sense of history and the story as soon as I walked through the door. This is one of the best homes in Los Angeles. It's almost like the home is your companion. There's so much personality here. It's a living space. It's not an empty space. People would enter through the front. They would see the grandeur. And above in the entry hall is this beautiful balcony that was used as a space for musicians. It was what greeted you when you first walked in to the house. The mahogany is sourced from a Spanish monastery. To have something that is preserved like this, I've never seen anything like it. Laughlin Park is a community in the heart of Hollywood. It's a gated community. It's very private. It was developed by Homer Laughlin and Wilbur Cummings in 1905. In 1916, Charlie Chaplin and Cecil B. DeMille moved to Laughlin Park and at that time it became a magnet for Hollywood royalty. It's definitely what we think of as Hollywood's golden age. We're fortunate enough to have the original plans to this house, and we're able to determine what was originally here in 1920 and what's been added over time. And most of what you see today was part of the original build. The architecture of this house is Italianate in style. It has a Beaux-Arts influence, steel casement windows and doors, a lot of glass. I've never seen a floor plan quite like it. It really is a great example of building architecture to be usable and user-friendly. The flow in this house is magnificent. Everything opens to the outdoors, and we don't really see that in homes built in 1919 or 1920. The views from this home are so beautiful, especially at night from the solarium. You can see downtown and the, the whole city just sparkles. It really feels like you're in this cloud above the city. W.C. Fields' very favorite sound was the sound of rain. So W.C. Fields would sit in the solarium and the gardener would use the hose on the roof to simulate the sound of rain. One of the best things about this house, it all feels very usable. I can see someone starting their morning in the breakfast room with a coffee. There's a great patio that flows to the outside. You have views of the observatory. We've got family rooms, dens, sitting rooms, suites. Everything here feels very comfortable and very at home. The person that buys this house, they're really going to have an appreciation for history, Los Angeles, who's lived here, and they are going to consider themselves the next caretakers for this magnificent home.